To all the audience, presenters, facilitators, team, and panel members for today's third International Research Congress, good afternoon. I am Sharon Bogo from the College of Education, currently taking a Bachelor of Elementary Education, major in General Education. And I am Janina Conner, also currently taking a Bachelor of Elementary Education, gen major in General Education. It is a big opportunity for us to be able to present our thesis entitled Threats and Issues of Teaching Methodology in Different Online English as Second Language Platforms. We are interested with this study because as future educators, we need to be more updated on the trends and issues and what are the different teaching methodologies that will effectively help us in the educative process, specifically in online English as second language platforms. Online English as second language is an open job to all people with or without a degree, as long as you are good at English. Teachers who are teaching different platforms of English as second language may use different teaching methodologies when teaching their students online. And the purpose of this study was to determine the teaching methodology in different online English as second language platforms. To support our study, three theories were used namely the theory of transmission by Noam Chomsky wherein the teacher job is to keep the children involved in the learning process and interested in the explorations and independence. Second, social cultural theory by Levi Gotsky, which incorporates a social interaction based relationship between the teacher and student. And the last theory is the contractivism theory by Sean Piaget, where he concentrates on the on development rather than learning of the student. As you can see in the conceptual framework of the study, the first thing to consider is the profile of the participants of the types of online English as second language platforms, followed by the trends of teaching methodology in different online English as second language platforms. Then, the issues and challenges of teaching methodology in different online English and second language platforms. And after finding the types, trends, issues and challenges, the last part is on what teaching strategies or methodology will be used by teachers to really achieve the positive outcomes in the educative process. This presents the SOP of our study and it consists of four questions which serve as the instrument of the study. The first question is, what are the types of online English as second language platforms used by the participants? Second, what are the issues and challenges of teaching methodology in different online English as second language platforms? Third, what are the emerging trends of teaching methodology in different online English as second language platforms? Last, what teaching strategies can be made after the study is conducted? The researchers use a qualitative research design and propose a sampling technique to survey and observe the platforms used by the teacher in teaching online English as second language and to identify what are the trends issues and challenges they experience. Thematic analysis approach was used in the data interpretation. We have 10 participants found in the neighboring places like Boron, Del Carmen, Suarez, San Miguel, Santa Ina, Santa Filomena, Puminovo, Tambacan, Zamora Street, and Obaldo Lion. Vicky, Sigoro, Ingo, Wevio, Fibuento, Akatso, Native Camp, Lyra English, EDC 360, and Virgil were the different platforms used by the participants. The instrument of the study is a self-made self questionnaire. And in gathering the data, the researchers 
provided a self-made questionnaire to be given and answered by the participants, which had undergone validity. And after the data gathering interpretation follows, to proceed, my partner will present and result, my partner will present the result and discussion of the study. Allow me to present the result and discussions after doing the interpretations. I'll begin with problem number one. What types of online platforms used by the participants? As per interview, there are various platforms used by every participant in their teaching, namely Siguru, Vifit, Engo, Faiwato, Webrio, Akadso, Native Cup, Lyra English, ABC 360, and Rare Job. This demonstrates that there are numerous platforms existed and were used in the Philippines. And many new ESL teachers who also begin to discover their careers by collaborating with online language companies and institutes. In problem number two, what are the emerging trends of teaching methodology in different online English as second language platforms? Based on the survey interview, majority of the participants said that during the online class, an audio dialogue in the chat box were used to record words and be sent it to the student so the student can study and review the materials that have been discussed in the class. This helps students for their review purposes and help teachers to address the issues of having to repeat the discussion when the student does not pay attention during the online class. Moving on to problem number three, what are the issues and challenges of teaching methodology in different online English as second language platforms? I'll discuss first what the issues are. Based on the informal replies, the most common or prevalent issues include first, capturing students' attention, second, not having enough time to prepare the instructional materials, and teachers also pay up teachers has no control to student misconduct. But according to what source, online ESL companies are student-centered. But there's a tendency that um, they fail to safeguard teachers from the disrespectful students. I am not presenting the issues this time. Um, I will discuss the challenges of teaching methodology. So majority of the participants have first-hand knowledge of how a foreign student acts in the class. I uh, problem number four, our last problem, what are the teaching strategies that can be made after the study is conducted? So the researchers found out with a strategy known as modern behavioral discipline strategies that focuses on setting rules and guidelines, establishing rapport, and developing um, students' a sense of humor while setting boundaries, using positive reinforcement, and using logical consequences to address the students' behavior and discipline. Now let's move on to the conclusion. The trends and issues of teaching methodology in different online English as second language were determined and very essential for effective teaching process that help the teachers to be more flexible in their teaching. Online ASL teachers possess unique characteristics to significantly assist them in booking more lessons, gaining regular students, and having a successful online career. Thus, it is home for online teachers, educators, and future researchers to conduct further research on related factors that might help to contribute the ASL learning among ESL learners. Because of the trends and issues experienced by ESL teachers, they come up with a solution that will make the class more fun and interactive by using different teaching methodologies. Lastly, these are the references 
process of our study cited from different sources. This is the end of our presentation and we would like to appreciate the presence of our distinguished panel members, the authors for their cooperation and support of our friends and relatives. Thank you and good afternoon. Thank you very much. Let's now proceed to